The cube root of 2 is irrational, and here is an absurd proof of it. First, we falsely assume that it is rational, so it can be expressed as a ratio of two natural numbers. Then we cube both sides, then multiply both sides by b cubed. Then we split up the two copies. Fermat's last theorem states that no natural numbers can satisfy this equation, so we reach the contradiction. Now, the proof isn't wrong, but we literally brought modern artillery to a snowball fight. A complete proof of the Fermat's last theorem took more than 350 years, and in order to solve the problem, numerous new branches of mathematics were invented. Many of the early attempts at solving the problem involved inventing new number systems, and the theorem was proved for every number up to 37 by 1847. So there was something special about this 36-dimensional number system that caused the proof to fail. This marked the birth of what we now call ring theory, the study of different number systems and their properties. If you're curious to dive deeper into the history of rings, click on the full-length video link below.